I don't know how you got in there, but 
You're going to stay there. Okay, I'll unlock it this once. And, you know, if you're not doing anything on Friday, perhaps we could take in a puppet show. Make it nice, steaming hot chocolate. <laughs> no! Fiona! Where's Rapunzel and the others? I heard Rapunzel's with Charming now. That tramp! And I heard them interrogating Gingy. We have to save him. Unlock the door for you! <laughs> of course, my sweet sleepy head. Hey, why didn't you just eat your way out? Oh! That's revolting! I'm not a cannibal! Bells! Oh, am I glad to see you! You were gonna do horrible things to me! With chocolate! You're safe now. Have you seen Cinderella? Or Pinocchio? Stromboli took Pinocchio to the Evil Queen's castle! He's gonna use Pinocchio to create an army of evil wooden puppets! But where's Charming? Oh, you mean the king of the stupids? Well, he's back at the castle preparing for his big show. And then that's where we're going, right? <sighs> But she'll only slow me down. Gingy, watch over her. When she wakes up, get her out of here. Ha! If those guards think a wooden door can stop me.
Are we almost there yet? It feels like we've been walking forever. Hey, it wasn't my quest. Next time, ask the Lady of the Lake for a shorter one. Is that a piano? What a lucky day for you and me. You've traveled very far. Come looky at yeah. my scar. Yeah. Ah. With the pirates and the thugs. It's really no rebuke. In fact, it's just a fluke. And we'll try to squash your cover. as well as I thought. That was a plan? Oh, don't rub it in. I spent more time on the song than the plan. Yeah, like that wasn't pathetically obvious. Now tell me where Fiona is. She's in the royal prison, guarded by witches and knights, and even worse, the Cyclops. Good thing you didn't say pirates. I was scared you were gonna say pirates, and given how scary they were just now. You're rubbing it in again. Come on, Artie. Let's go.
Now safely on board ship, our daring adventurers began their serene voyage home, so that Arthur could at last be united with his loyal subjects. You'll be fine, except for the poisonings. What? And the famine. Huh? And the revolutionaries. Okay, that's it. I don't want to be king. Too bad. You're going. But cool fate had other plans in store for you. Oh, that's just great. And cast them on a lonely shore. Hello? Is anyone here? Artie? Donkey? Hey, old man! Yeah, you! Have you seen a talking donkey around? Or a whiny teenager? Oh my! An ogre! Stay back! Oh, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm looking for my friends. Ogres have friends? <sighs> Whether they want them or not. Have you seen them? Shrek! Artie! Where's everyone else? They're back at Merlin's. Merlin? The wizard? At your service. Here, let me magically transport you to my humble home. Ready? Oh, that's just great. Looks like a fine spot to build a plank. Hey, it sure does. Who oh, no. An ogre! Ogre! Aye. No thanks to you. Just a small spell mishap, nothing more. Now why don't you use your wizardly powers to transport us back to far, far away? No problem. I just need four magical horseshoes, one for each of you. Do we look like horses? Ooh, I do, I do. No, no, no. Magical horseshoes are needed for my long distance teleport spell. It's quite technical. I could explain. Please don't. Uh, all right, fine, I'll find them. Avalanche stops. Uh, they're not removing this fine rock, you big green wimp. Me mother can push harder than you, and she's only got one leg. Ah, you may have skippered your way past the rock, but you'll be no match for the savage, heartless creatures that await you up ahead.
now to find that crazy old wizard's home. This had better work. Oh my, you've been eating your spinach. You're back. Why are you back? You said to get horseshoes. I did? For what? To send us back home. I said I'd do that. Our heroes encountered Merlin, the greatest of wizards and use their keen powers of persuasion to obtain his help in returning home. How about a lift? No, no, no. Please. Deeply moved, Merlin consented and carefully selected the precise magical spell for the task. Using all his legendary powers, Merlin whisked them on their way. Mm. Oops, wrong wand, sorry. Ah, now that's more like it. That old crackpot actually sent us back home. Woohoo, boy Shrek. I sure wouldn't have put my money on that. And I still wouldn't, my friend. Look. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Wizard. I'm so glad you dropped us off in an evil infested forest. Aw, oh, man. I'm getting heebie-jeebie, Shrek. You know how I don't like evil forests. I'm gonna hide. 